This is Zilo, a small town east of Berlin that hosts the curtain raiser of the German autocross season. Autocross is a sport which is a bit like rallycross on a round track, with corners and hills, but the track is on a loose surface, on dirt and not asphalt. Sometimes there are a lot of holes. It's not really normal motorsport like you see in the DTM, where they just drive on roads, we drive on unknown terrain. Zilo is the first of eight rounds in the championship and it's a track where fans have the chance to get close to the action. The Zilo racetrack has the characteristics of a stadium. The spectators can sit alongside the track and see everything and the drivers love this. We have a wonderful racetrack which has a height difference of 27 meters. The lap record here is 35 seconds and that is something which really attracts the crowds. The track is around about one, one kilometer per lap and this means you have action all the time. You have several starts at the day, the races are between six and eight kilometers only compared to uh, 24 hours of Le Mans or whatever. Yeah. And this means you have action all the time. You have maximum 10 cars at the starting grid and then you have a lot of action in between because you have, like I said, only six laps. And compared to Formula One, you do not need uh, to take care on your tires or do uh, or the fuel consumption or whatever. Yeah, you have just full throttle and just give everything which, which you have. With up to 70 drivers turning up to every event, the series is open to anyone happy to get their hands dirty. Right here on the starting grid, we have the adult category, but also a lot of juniors. In the adult category, there are classes for touring cars and special cross classes up to 4,000 cc, so it's quite a lot. The touring cars are Hondas, Citroëns, Fords, and the buggies have engines in them from Honda or Audi and BMW. BMW and so weiter. We have a fast and speed chassis from Johnny Hackwood with an Emming engine, 2.5 litres with an aluminium block. And it has about 378 horsepower and 320 newton metres. And it does 10,000 revolutions and it weighs 610 kilograms. 10 kilo. With autocross raced on dirt, these enthusiasts are at the mercy of the weather and have to learn to adapt to the changing conditions. A good autocross driver needs, needs to be a generalist. You, you need to uh, drive, or you need to be able to drive calm, to keep a cool head, but also to, to know when the need is to be aggressive. This means you, you need a, a mix between aggressive and, and calm, and um, you, you need to, to be able to set up your car, because you have different, uh, different undergrounds, like, like rebel or also asphalt or tarmac. One taste of the thrill of autocross racing is enough to have them hooked. Of course, the competitive spirit is strong, but there's also a collaborative one too. We're all like one big family here. We can approach anyone and chat, get tips. Everyone helps everyone else. I like to race because I like the speed and it's just a lot of fun. I need a bit of action in my life and I just want to drive and I love the speed and the dirt and everything.